Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the LCM of algebraic expression, then from this given, so first, from the first expression, so we need to find the prime factors of this number. So for 6, that's 2 times 3. And for the second expression, so the prime factors of 10, that's 2 times 5. Then to find the LCM, so first we need to write these prime factors of the first expression. So that's 2 times 3. Then for the second expression, since we have this 2 and we already have 2, so no need to add. Then for 5, so times 5. Then you simplify, so 2 times 3, that's 6. 6 times 5, that's 30. And for the variable, so just copy the highest exponent. So that's x to the power 3 and 4y. So that's y to the power 5. So this is now the LCM of this expression. Then for this given, so for this quadratic equation, so we need to find the factors. So for the first expression, so x squared minus x minus 2. Then to find the factors, so for x squared, that's x times x. And for negative 2, that's 2 times 1, so 1 negative and 1 positive. Since the middle term of this quadratic equation is negative, so therefore the bigger number must be negative and this one is positive. Then to check the factor, so using the pyramid multiplication, so this negative 2 times x, that's negative 2x, and x times 1, that's x, then if we add, so negative 2 plus 1, that's negative x, and this negative x is the middle term. Then for the second expression, so we have x squared minus 7x plus 12. So to find now the factors, so for x squared, that's x times x, and for 12, that's 4 times 3, then the middle term is negative 7 and this 12 is positive, so therefore all the factors must be negative. Because negative 4 times negative 3, that's positive 12, and negative 4 plus negative 3, that's negative 7. So to find now the LCM, so again, copy this uh, first expression, so x minus 2 times x plus 1. Then for the second expression, so this x minus 4, we need to add. And x minus 3, so we need to add. So therefore, this is now the LCM of this expression. Then for this given, so for this quadratic equation, so y squared minus y minus 2. So to find the factors, so y squared, y times y, then for negative 2, so 2 times 1, so 1 negative and 1 positive. Since the middle term is negative, so the bigger number must be negative, and this one is positive. Then for the second expression, so y minus 2, so you just copy. And for the third, y plus 1, so just copy. Then to find out the LCM, so copy the first expression, so that's y minus 2 times y plus 1. Then for the second expression, since we have this y minus 2, and we already have y minus 2, so there is no need to add. 
Then for y plus 1, we already have y plus 1, so no need to add. So therefore, this is now the LCM of this expression. Then for this given, so find the factors of this quadratic equation. So we have x times x and for positive 8, that's 4 and 2. Since the middle term is negative 6, so all negative. Because negative 4 times negative 2, that's positive 8. And negative 4 minus 2, that's negative 6. Then for the second expression, so x squared plus x minus 20. So to find the factors, this one is x, then x for negative 20, so that's 5 and 4. So one negative and one positive. Since the middle term is positive x, so therefore the bigger number must be positive. Because positive 5 times negative 4, that's negative 20. And 5 minus 4, that's positive 1. And the third expression, so that's x squared plus 3x minus 10. So to find the factors for x squared, that's x and x. For this negative 10, so we can have 5 and 2. So since negative, so 1 positive, 1 negative. And the middle term is positive, so the bigger number must be positive. So from these factors to find out the LCM, so write the first expression, that's x minus 4 times x minus 2. Then for the second expression, so this x plus 5, so you add times x plus 5 for x minus 4. Since we have this x minus 4, so no need to add. Then for the third expression, x plus 5. So we have x plus 5, no need to add. x minus 2, we have x minus 2, so no need to add. So therefore, this is the LCM of this given. Then for this expression, so we have 3x squared plus 5x minus 28. So to find the factors, so we have 3x times x for 3x squared. Then for this negative 28, so we can have 7 times 4. Then to check the factors, so using the pyramid multiplication, so 7 times x, this one is 7x. 3x times 4, this one is 12x. And take note that the middle term is positive 5. So to have positive 5x, this must be negative, and this one is positive. So therefore, 7 is negative, and 4 is positive. Then for this expression, so 3x plus 12, so using the common monomial, so observe that these numbers, 3 and 12, divisible by 3, so put 3 outside, so therefore, this 3 divided by 3, that's 1. So we have x plus this 12 divided by 3, that's 4. So this is now the factors for this expression. So to find now the LCM, so copy the first factor. So this one is 3x minus 7, then times x plus 4. Then for the second expression, so we have this 3, so we need to add 3. Then x plus 4, since we have x plus 4, so no need to add. So therefore, this is now the LCM 
for this expression. Then for this given, so for this expression, so 12x minus 21. So observe that these numbers divisible by 3. So divide by 3, divide by 3. 12 divided by 3, that's 4. So we have 4x minus 21 divided by 3, that's 7. So these are now the factors for this expression. Then for this quadratic equation, so we have 4, 4x squared. This one is 4x times 4. And for this negative 42, we can have 7 and 6. Then to check the factors, so 7 times x, that's 7x. 4x times 6, this one is 24x. Then to add, so to have this positive 17x, so this must be negative and this one is positive. So, therefore, 7 is negative and 6 is positive. So, to find out the LCM, so again, copy this first factor. So, 3 times 4x minus 7. Then, for the second expression, so 4x minus 7. So, we have 4x minus 7. No need to add. And x plus 6, so times x plus 6. So this is now the LCM of this expression.